lovely hotties. A very, very good evening to you and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue live on TikTok just for you. Dinky doo, this is the big one and we are starting. How amazing is that? Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Scotty McClue, hashtag float I, first lord of the internet, live just for you. Time just coming up to four minutes past nine o'clock on Thursday evening. That's Thursday the 5th of August. 2021. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Scottish TikToker. How lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do to you. Excellent. So glad you could make it. Now, our subject we've been discussing all day on TikTok. You'll see it on the TikTok videos. Should the LGBTQ community include straight people? So it becomes LGBTQS. Do tell us what your feelings on that are. You'll see the discussion beside your fantastic stuff. Hope you're well, sir. Absolutely, Scottish TikToker and dinky do. Yes, says Scottish TikToker. It should indeed. Now, serious discussion, guys. Make your points and we will talk about them. Very, very important because it is a very important issue. And when you've got something like LBGTQ, which everybody asks on here, lots and lots of people, even the trolls go, do you support it? Now, if we added S for straight to it, or as somebody suggested earlier, H for heterosexual, that would make a difference. So it would be LGBTQH if it included. Fantastic stuff. Thank you, Scottish TikToker, dinky-doo. Uh, more likes can attract the viewers. Keep it up, dinky-doo. I thank you very much, Mr. TikTok, for telling us that. So there we are, lots and lots of likes. And uh, everybody, like the videos, please, on TikTok. The TikTok videos, you'll see them there. They're all for you. I don't support it, but I have nothing against it. Absolutely, Scottish TikTok. And I don't think anybody should really have anything against it these days. We should be all-inclusive as we are on Scotty McClue's TikTok Live. There we are. Do you remember me? Suhair, of course I remember you. How could I forget you? There we are. Lovely to have you with us. Hello, bra dinky do. Jeff's joined us. Lovely to have you with us and a very very warm welcome good evening scotty boy good evening banky boy how are we tonight have we told 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that scotty mcclue is live are we seeing the results have we followed have we liked all these things very very important when we're building up our tiktok wonky says dinky do lovely to have you with us wonky a very very busy discussion today wonky you know i've climbed ben nevis last week so hey that is quite a feat. Well done. What are you, 4,000 feet? Am I right in that one? Answer me, says bra. What do you mean, answer me? Don't start cheeking up. Let's see what you said. Let we go. Where is bra? We can't see you, bra. So we haven't got anything to answer, I don't think. No sign of you, bra. There we are. Fantastic. So you answer me. Scotty, my boy, how are we, big man? La hoop. How lovely to have you with us, and did you do, Scotty McClue live just for you. I thought I'd pop up and keep the tradition going, even though you've probably seen more than enough of me for a break. Would you like a wee break, guys? I will quite understand, because we've had a lot of lives recently. Good evening. Hope you've had a dinky do day. This is Justin Stockwell. Justin, lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome. Thank you. I've had a marvellous day today. Hi, Scotty from the Isle of Man, Jonathan. We love the Isle of Man, as you well know. Yes, indeed. The big wheel. Uh, bra, enough of the attitude. Yes, good one. Thank you, Scottish TikToker. Just you tell bra, answer me. Ha, yes, you're not getting answered at all. If there's any more cheek. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, Scotty, could you please say dinky do to my dad, John? Yes, I can fake fear. I can say dinky do to John. And uh, he's very, very welcome on here. General Sup to start the stream. Uh, water or tea? There we go. Uh, name a Gaelic footballer. There we are. Bra, are you a troll? Because if you're a troll, we will get rid of you pronto. If you're going to behave and grow up, that's fine. But bra, you need to show big, big, big respect. Or you are doing the swanee. 
That's what's going to happen to him. Name a Gaelic footballer. Uh, what about Kamraha? Ooh, he was good. I could never get sick of listening to Scotty Allahub. You're a top man. Bless you. Very, very kind of you. Uh, so there we are. Now, what have we got here? Big man, are you trolling by any chance? That's the kind of trolling that we don't bother with on here. Scotty, I didn't know you did late night radio in Scotland. Oh, Christine, huge. Two billion people across the world have heard Scotty McClue. Two billion. That's between a third and a quarter of the world's population. Oh, I feel even more humble than usual. Fantastic. The lovely Kareem from Glasgow's been on, sending TikToks. Kareem, the weather's breaking. What are we going to do? Teach me how to rap. I might do that, bruh, if you behave and you settle down. There we are. Oh, yes. There was nothing bigger on late night radio than the Scotty McClue nightline. Absolutely huge. Hey, hi, Scotty. Sup, whatever you want to sip. Well, we could start by trying the Errol Grey. There we are in the big mug. Two hands. Oh, a little bit on the warm side. But, uh, but lovely nevertheless. Fantastic. So, general sup every day. Okay, okay, bro, you stay. Yeah, bro, always stop trolling. This is not your normal live that you go on and try and sabotage. This is Scotty McClue's talk show, which happens to be on TikTok at the moment. So there you go. This is big stuff. Scotty, 68 bin man in Ireland. We love you, 68 bin man. Yes, you might know my bin man. I know it's a small world out there. Scotty's quite the rapping. Oh, we're quite the rapping. I practiced my rapping on the 26th of December. Uh, there we are. No, that's my unwrapping. That's my boxing. I practice my rapping on the 24th. Put him down the swanee, says Scottish TikToker. Scottish TikToker's having no nonsense tonight. So, brah, you're on a very, very thin ice, so just steady. And we'll get you. We'll keep you on. We'll keep you on. Uh, who sent a Scottish TikToker has sent me 80, 90, one, over 100 TikToks. Scottish TikToker, steady the buffs. Hold your fire. Hold the line. Oh, my goodness me. Did you do late night radio, Scotty, on 4th? I did Sunday morning radio on 4th, Christone. Yes, I did late night on Scott FM. Fantastic. Oh, my goodness, Scottish TikToker, what are you doing? You will bankrupt yourself. That must be about £500 you've sent me. Oh, what am I going to do with Scottish TikToker, guys? Scotty, um... Have you got that? Now, what have we got here? Right, BD274, you're definitely a low-life troll, so you are now back into the gutter. Woo! That's him. Gone. There we go. Idiots. These trolls never learn, do they? So there we go. Fantastic stuff. My friends dared me to. Sorry. Not at all, bra, but never listen to your friends on here. They will be giggling. They know that you will have got the treatment like that guy there, straight down the swanee. So, you know, you're, you're still on. Uh, he needs to read every book on the magic roundabout. I'm being honest, bra. You are being honest, good man. There we are. I fell asleep to you most nights, Chris Stone. That was very kind of you. I'm not surprised. No, I'm asking you. It's for my GCSE geography. Okay, okay, big man, no problem. There we are. Uh, Karim sent nine beautiful TikToks. I thank you very much, Karim. Uh, no, Scotty Dinky do. It's a sandwich drink, and Chris. Yes, I know that, Wonky. There's no problem. You're a very wise man. Well, Chris Stone, we have to be, you see. I was doing late night radio, unscripted, three hours every single night to, uh, you know, millions of people, literally. And um, we didn't have any internet or anything like that. So you had to know your stuff. There we are. Thank you, Kareem. That is so beautiful of you. Two billion Will Musson over 40 years. Hello, Scotty Dinky Do. 30 years of the Scotty McClue late night nightline radio show this year. Oh, what about that? 
What's the most important life lesson you have learnt? Uh, learnt? Uh, that you can lose all your life savings to a fraudster if you're not very, very careful. So there you go. Uh, you know, you should have charged a pound each. Banky boy, that might be the way. Charge everybody a pound each. Uh, did you ever do radio in Fort William? No, never's radio, Ethan. I was very privileged to meet the people that run it at a conference. Never's radio. Scotty, can you give me a shout out? My mum, Lorraine Kemp from Danoon. Dinky do. Ah, Sean, I've got Kemp's in my family. And they're from Oban. Isn't that lovely? So there we are. Fantastic. We love Danoon, Alexander Street, Nelson Street, uh, Akamore Road, the Bishop's Glen, King Street, John Street, the West Bay, Wellington Street, the Bullwood in Ellen. Oh, my goodness me. Where do we stop? Arnadam, Hunter's Key, ha uh, Hafton. Hafton House. There we go. I can remember Hafton House when Miss Allen lived in it, of Allen Shipping, one of the original families. Uh, up the Super Glasgow Rangers 56 coming soon. We are the people. We are the people, Disco Boy. And Mon the Hoops in the interests of balance. Fantastic. Scotty, please say, no, Matt, we don't say things like that. So I think what we'll do with you, Matt, you're a troll. You're down this one, eh? God. Matt's gone, guys, for trolling. Dafty. There we are. What do you rate a red label tea bags out of 10? 10 out of 10, monkey. What's the most important life lesson? Well, we've done that one. Uh, so what have we got here? Any advice from me, pal? Chris Stone, what kind of advice would you like? Could give you any advice you like, my dear. What do you require? Or if we were French, we would say, Yes, give us these ring. There we are. Follow us as soon as you come on. Thanks, Christine. Just a question, Scotty. What's the name of the ship on your mug? Well, there are several, you see. Probably all Clyde built. Clippers. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Mmm. Another sip of tea. That mug is bigger than my head, Luke. <laughs> is that not amazing? Fantastic. Oh, you need to be strong to pick that up, I'll tell you. You aren't even Scottish, are you? What do you mean, Nathan? What a silly, silly comment to say to Scotty McClue, who is the voice of Scotland. There we are. Ridiculous, ridiculous comment. Uh, there we are. Follow us as soon as you can. Thanks, bro. Now, who have we got here? Good day, Scotty. Mr. Martin here. Oh, Geo Dog. What was Mr. Martin like? Geo Dog, I loved your Willie's Jeep. What a beautiful piece of work you've done there. Love the colour, love the lot. Are they, and you'll need to be absolutely honest with me here, and I know you will, are they comfortable to drive or are they a little bit uncomfortable? My father used to say it was a brilliant wee thing. There we are. The three gears are interesting. Uh, TikTok, 350 TikToks from Scottish TikToker. Scottish TikToker, I don't know what to say. I can't thank you enough. That is so, so generous. So generous and so very, very kind. And it will go to excellent use. Oh, my goodness, appreciate it. How do I donate? Bru I don't know. Scottish TikToker will tell you. There we are, but very kind of you. Morning, Duke of Dundee. Scotty, can I get a shout out to my mum? Yes, you can. We've just done it, Sean. So no problem at all. Did you ever, oh, we've done all these. We've done these. My sister says in Oban, my sister stays in Oban, love the place. Banky boy, we love Oban. Up the Balloch and Re. That's a nice wee 350 TikToks for you, sir. Legend, but Scottish TikToker. It's so kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you say roundabout in a really Scottish manner? I've just said it, roundabout. They are very Scottish. What about the bankies? We love the bankies. Very well balanced, Scotty, on the football front. Oh, Ryan, we always like to look after our favourite teams. Uh, Justin Alive kept getting a bad connection. Lauren, that can happen because probably you're very, very popular. 
you know, but uh, it might be an idea of re-downloading the app. It might be an idea of ensuring that the cache is cleared. You'll need your password to get back in, though. It might be an idea to um, see that you have, if you scroll through your options um, on the top right, then you will see that you can um, free up space. I think it says free space. Go on and check that that's zeroed, right, and clear the cache on there. Try again. You might want to restart your phone. Another one bites the dust. Doom the swanny with them, Geodog. Yes, these half-witted idiots, they, they, they're they used to trying to see if they can ruin people's lives, you know, and they, they, they shouldn't do it on here. Do you know what I mean? Speaking of strong, can we see the biceps? Oh, wonky. My biceps, it blanks out the screen. I'll show you one. <clears throat> now, you know, this is, there's a bicep, right? Can you see that? Now, I can't, there's my hand. So do you see, I can't reach round the bicep. You know, and if somebody got that right on their conk, middle of next week, and then some. You know, what we're talking about. Sounded like Mr. Martin comment, disrespecting the Scots. And uh, so there we are. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? Followers, as soon as you come on, don't thank me, sir. I thank you for the services. No, Scottish TikToker, I thank you. That is kindness personified. Very generous. Maria Knight. The joy and the pleasure that you people have brought me and Maria Knight is leading the, the, the Sally. She has sallied forth there. Maria, I don't, I no longer know what to say to you. I am so humbled by your kindness. Maria Knight has just sent me perhaps my favorite TikTok gift, a diamond king. Now it's worth fortunes and it's in a beautiful big green velvet box with a gorgeous big conical diamond like that you just see it pop up and uh, I, I just it's so beautiful of you Maria thank you there we are and thank you again to Scottish TikToker thank you to all of you just click the gifts at the bottom screen it charges you 20 pounds oh Scottish TikToker I hope you haven't given me 20 pounds Salty Rangers, uh, my best advice to you, top, would be to uh, go and see them both play and then just make up your mind who you favour. That's what it's about. And you can change. I mean, lots of Celtic Rangers supporters just change. So you can support Rangers one week, Celtic the next, Celtic one week, Rangers the next. Go to Ibrox, go down to Parkhead or Celtic Park. Where are you on the political spectrum, Scotty? Tight talk. I am apolitical. I don't get swayed, but I do like all these different things. I uploaded yesterday saying that I wondered if in Scotland, and this is a while back, the Tories and the SNP should join up so the SNP don't go too far to the left and the Tories don't go too far to the right because some of the nationalists are very poor about understanding the importance of the monarchy in Scotland. And uh, we had an old boy on who wanted a republic. Now that loses you 50% of the vote immediately. Do you see what I mean? These, that's where these people are very, very slow uh, off the mark. They still have leaf springs and tend to jump over the road at speed. Geodog, do they do this? A sort of jid, 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 jid judder to the side if you throw them round the corner. I know what you mean. And my father told me that the leaf springs used to get, I was at a paraffin and oil mix brushed onto them to save them corroding. There we go. Fantastic stuff. What sort of speed are we talking though? You know, I know they get off their mark. I know that. Love your mohawk, mate. Oh, my mohawk, the last of the Mohicans I am. Maria, thank you for that beautiful Diamond King. Um, now, what do we got here? A goat named Jeff says, is Sumpta a Scottish last name? Never, ever, ever seen it in my life. So I would say no. 
Uh, your hat is fantastic, my good son. I thank you. Nyan, 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 nyan. Very kind of you. Scotty, why do? Why do what? Think you do, Scotty boy? Good evening. Bitchy, bitchy. Why are you no longer on Nation Radio? Because I was on at weekends, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and staffing-wise, they thought it would be better to put on love songs. Because obviously a phone ends quite high maintenance, you know. So uh, so that's that's the stuff. So they've got the love songs on, I, I believe, on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Diamond King costs about 19% wonky. Maria Knight, thank you. I just, I do worry, Maria. I worry. But I'm so grateful. It's so lovely of you. Uh, anytime, sire. I thank you, Scottish TikToker28. You're so kind. Mr. Martin should not insult the Scots. <coughs> we'll pick them in a keg of brandy. Ah, cheer dog. There we are. They actually do. Yes, I thought just that wee bit of jid, jid, jid. Yeah, Oh, for goodness sake, across the road that way. But uh, but very, very good. And the four-wheel drive, the wee lever. There we are, that sort of thing. Or a lever, as they say in America. Have you got a lever? <coughs> now then, Judog says, on a good day, down a hill with a good wind, from behind she gets to 80 kilometres per hour eventually. So what would that be? I mean, my calculus isn't great. 70, 68, 70, that sort of stuff. Maybe 65, 70, that kind of idea. Just what a car would have done at that time, because the Willys Jeep, was it 1944 or 41 they came in? And they were American, is that right? There we go. Now, what have we got here, Burning Bear? You on that wookie slush. Not sure what you mean by that. You're far too hip with your language. You're far too uncool. Scotty, would you rather have a really good Yorkshire pudding, a really good roasties, or a roast dinner? Uh, I'd rather have both, actually, to be honest with you. So I'm not giving myself the choice. I love roast potatoes and Yorkshire pudding because that's the right thing to do. Okay, Cokie. Scotty, my man. Stephen for Clyde Bank. We love you, Stephen. About 55. Geo Dog, I would say in an open car of these proportions, you will think you are flying. I had a friend had a 66 MG midget. And when you were doing about 35 with the hood down, you thought you were absolutely flying. I can't tell you. Follow us as soon as you can. Well done. And that was the correct answer. There you go, Wonky. I am not just an athlete, you know. Yes, indeed. I'm a black belt in karaoke as well. Time for a general sup. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Uh, Wonky, while you're on, have you seen the activity today on Scotty McClure's TikTok? We're very, very, very short on followers. For some reason, nobody except the chosen few choose to follow. Now, I think that's heart laziness. Why would you not follow Scotty McClure? Do you know what I mean? And it's just so strange. It's almost bordering on rudeness. The polite people follow. The rude ones go, I'll just watch and then go. You know, and it's different from that. We're creating something very, very special here. Very beautiful, very outstanding. You know, you've been getting lots of views and comments. It's amazing. Hey, Scotty, how's it doing? It's me, MSM. MSM, lovely to have you with us. The man, the myth, the legend, the mucklu. Well done. Only intelligent intellectuals follow Scotty. I think so. Yes, indeed. But it's very strange. But if we can get the follows and the likes up, then we will see a big difference. But the activity is massive. Absolutely massive. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, guys. Dinky Doo, you're watching Scotty McClue. Can we have more sharing, please? Can everybody share this? The Willies is American, introduced to the military around 1942. Um, I think I may have told you the story, Geodog, but uh, two lovely stories specifically for you. But I know that the world will enjoy them as well. And my father was driving a major in a Willies Jeep. 
at Operation Market Garden, I think it was. Was that part of defending the bridge at Nijmegen? <clears throat> and my father had taken a ton of driving the major so they could go up and down the convoy with him standing up, pointing his stick at people and barking orders. And my father had exceeded the speed he was doing about maybe 40 miles an hour in the Willie's Jeep. And the major, my father was a big, quiet, handsome man, like yourself, cheered up. But um, he didn't like being sort of manhandled or prodded or poked or anything like that. The major poked him with his stick, his major stick, with his service cap on standing up, and he went, do 37 and a half. You're going too fast. Convoy speed, 37 and a half and prodded my father. My father slammed on. The major went A over T right into the footwell, right upside down. He rolled himself up, put the squared off his service cap, and he said, sorry about that. My fault, I think. Oh, my father panicked when he saw what he'd done, but he just slammed on because nobody poked big archer, you know what I mean? Wonderful stuff. So that was that. And then another beauty for you. It was a friend of mine was telling me when he did his parachute training and it was his first jump and he's standing in the middle with on his left side um, a Royal Marine Commando and his, on his right side a special air serviceman. And they were looking, he looked at them, looked up at them like this. <laughs> And they were just motionless, staring at the green light, right? And then as soon as the green light went, the commander goes, come on then, sweetheart. And they both took his hand and ran him out the back of the herc. <laughs> Danced him out the back of the herc. Isn't that beautiful? So there we are. And you'll know what I'm talking about, dear dog. Uh, they were used well into the 60s, and by us, well into the 80s. Wow, Geodog. When you say us, do you mean your own military setup or just um, as uh, as civilians? Can you say hello to my friend, please? I can, Louis. No problem at all. Uh, share the live video, guys, as soon as you can. Thank you very much, MSM. Hinkley's home to the Triumph Motorcycles. You should visit one day. The Tiger Cub. The Bonneville. Is that not amazing? What else did we have in Triumph Motorcycles? Beautiful, beautiful bikes. I remember them. Uh, I have both the York and the Scottish rites of Freemasonry completed. Does that mean I am Scottish too? Burning Bear, why would you be asking Scotty McClue? So there we are. Dinky do, everybody. Scotty, if you give me. M-O-D, I could put a stop to all the people trying to troll you. MSM, it's very, very kind of you, and you will see them. But I actually quite like sending them doing the sorry. I've got quite attached to the wee trolls. Just as they disappear, they'll be going, What did I say? What did I do? How did he know? There we are. Scotty, brother, you need to make me a mod. I'll stop the trolls. Thank you, Burning Bear. Very much appreciated. Scotty, you don't need a mod. He sends them doing the sorry. Scotty, I happened to listen to an argument you had with a fella about the peace process on YouTube. Ah, la hoop. Did you like that one? It might not have gone your way. But I'll tell you, la hoop, joking apart, you'll always pick something up from McClure about Ireland's history. A lot of it you will know. Some of it you may not. And I am in the same boat with so many things. Scotty, Rangers or Celtic? Michael, the best advice I can give you, go along to the relative grounds, the relevant grounds and the relative grounds, go to uh, to Ibrooks, go to Parkhead, see the two play, and um, then just make a decision. You know, it's not a problem either way, and it's not cast in stone. Rangers, are you going on holiday? If so, where not and why? So there you are. You're a Rangers man. Right, now that's good, that's good. So there we are. Yes, I thought there were troll names one case, so that's why we didn't read them out. There we are. Good morning from Victoria. True blue floors. 
The only thing is, if we get rid of all the, the trolls, Rich and Root, Rich and Root has joined us. Now, this is another of the most generous people on the planet, guys. Rich and Root knows how I'm fixed. And he came on before and just went berserk. And he's given me 150 red roses. That, oh, he's gone past it, for goodness sake. Rich and Rude, steady the buffs. Hold your line, sir. There we are. Good morning from Victoria. We love you in Victoria. What about the BSA Bantam? Yes, indeed. Now, BSA, the Birmingham Small Arms Company, they used to make uh, armaments. And I've seen a BSA rifle, actually. Uh, Birmingham Small Arms. And uh, they also, I think, was that not the, the company the Dockers owned and took over Daimler motor cars? So Birmingham Small Arms and uh, the Bantam was used by the General Post Office. Little Red Bantams, 125 and 175. They were two strokes. And you could hear them coming a mile. Yeah. BSA Bantam, very good little bikes. And uh, the uh, telegram boys, in those days you could send a telegram if you had money. So you would say something like, Kulelio from S. McClue, uh, do hope you are getting better, stop, mother okay, stop. So you'd send that, that would get typed out on ticker tape. And it would get stuck to a general post office telegram handed to a boy in a black Baratheia uniform and uh, a helmet. And he would go screaming off to the house to deliver the telegram. So there you are. It was the quickest thing, equivalent of a text nowadays. But you needed somebody to deliver it to your house. And I can remember when my aunt, sadly, was killed in an accident. She got knocked down by a car. And um, people sent telegrams to the house. You know, incredible. I still have telegrams for my grandparents' wedding in 1910. They are 111 years old. They're written in pencil. They're clear as a bell. There we are. Good morning, sir, from Victoria, Scotty. Are you going on holiday? And if not, why not? <coughs> McClure doesn't go on holiday. Life is a holiday. Uh, convoy speed in Angola was 30 kilometers per hour of one detonated amount of speed. The results were far worse. Absolutely, Geodog. Geodog, you are such a top man. I thoroughly appreciated our exchange last night. Really marvelous. Marvelous. A man of great quality. And I love John. Deep South African accent. Uh, we are back in lockdown here in Victoria. I'm so sorry to hear that. True blue floors, you do not deserve that. That is shocking. Guys, come and join us. Scotty McClue, follow me as soon as you can. Um, follow and uh, like all the TikTok videos. There's a huge discussion, and the discussion is, and I'd be quite happy to continue it, should LGBTQ become LGBTQH for uh, heterosexual or S for straight. You tell me, Bartek Thistle, goddy wonderful. There we are. I remember going to the Bartek Thistle game and I said to the policeman, how do I get to Fur Hill? He said, follow the crowd, sir. I ended up at Summerston in the supermarket. I learned a lot from you, McClue, but I have to disagree with what you said about McGuinness and Adams. I don't know what I said about them at the time. So there you are. I mean, there were things that were right and things that were wrong. I can't let this be done to me. I must be top gifter. MSN official, not at all. Just if you want to give, nobody should ever, ever, ever feel obliged to give on Scotty McClure's TikToks live. But if you do, it is so much appreciated. That's all I'm saying. Rich and Rude has just sent, this is huge, 260 red roses. Rich and Rude, I don't know. 
Oh, my goodness me. MSM official. Richard, you're on. He is on. I feel sick, says Holly. Holly, what have you been eating, dear? There we are. Come and join us. We still use the Land Rover in various configurations. Of course, dear dog. I mean, I was very annoyed when they said that they, what was the last one? The Defender. And they said, um, I can remember, well, the Defender, they said that they wanted to make something that uh, was safer. Now, you know, I mean, you don't want to be in a head-on in a Series 1. Let's face it. And I think I had a friend had a Series 1, and it was very, very low budget in these days. I mean, even, even then, they were quite expensive. You could get a runner for £15. My first car was quite swish, and it was £20. And it was a 1952 Austin A40 Somerset. And I used to drive around in this huge beast. It only had a 1,200 engine, which eventually blew up. Um, a, a, a big end shell came through the block. <laughs> anyway, long story short, you could get a runner for from 15 pounds upwards. And uh, I know ch somebody that bought a Morris 8 in, uh, in 1960 for eight pounds. So there we are, a pound a cc, a pound for a hundred cc's. Uh, so that was that. Anyway, I think this this one was quite low budget, but even then, a Land Rover would be about fifty pounds. A Jaguar was forty five. A Series Two Jag forty five quid. Imagine if you bought it and kept it, but nobody could afford to run the blooming things. Uh, so there we are. Sunbeam Talbo ninety was another beauty, and. Um, Anyway, he swapped a Rover 80 engine, a petrol engine. It was very, very smooth. They were very silky engines, these Rover engines from Solihull, the Rover company of Solihull. Now, Geodog, I'll tell you, Austin brought in the Austin Gypsy. Somebody said, that's fine if you want a Land Rover that rusts. Amazing. But the Series 1, as you know, Geodog, you could lift bits off it. Anyway, I fancied a lightweight, a military Land Rover. Pardon me. And it was a friend said to me, he said, now, Scotty, just be careful if you're buying one, because it may well have been dropped out of an aircraft. Would that have been okay? There we are, the lightweight, because I like the lightweight Land Rover. Rich and rude, your top gifter. You're so kind, rich and polite. Wonky, can I tell you, rich and rude, let's slip. Rich has been in the same position as myself. He was relieved of his life savings by a fraudster. Am I right, Richard Root? And he got back on his feet as McClue did and fought his way back up the greasy pole. Ah, oh, so he understands. Excellent knowledge and anecdotes as per Kulelio. Amazing stuff. Were you famous before TikTok? User 517. Before TikTok, two billion people had heard of Scotty McClue. Forty years in national and international television, radio, and then in the last 15 years online, newspapers, print, front page story almost every day, all that stuff, amazing. But that's in the past. We must move on. This is the future. So help me build a massive TikTok live and I will stay. You know, we will sample and stay. Nowadays, we also use the Land Cruise, of course, to your dog. The Japanese are beauties. There was a while the Japanese wouldn't allow anything on the road that was, was over six years old or 60,000 miles. I can't remember. Anyway, a friend of mine who ran Land Rovers told me that you could pick up an engine straight from Japan, just crated up with all the oil on it and the, the bits still hanging there, you know, the the uh, distributor caps, the wires, the lot. And um, tremendous. And you could get virtually a new engine that would run forever because these Japanese engines are absolutely bomb-proof. Beautiful stuff. And the big Peugeot diesel I had in a Range Rover they were bomb-proof as well. Just tremendous, the two and a half. Scotty, how are we doing? Dinky-doo, I'm poor and polite now. 
says Wonky Pint to Richard Rood. Uh, Loud says, well, the fella you had on believed that they deserved no credit for creating peace, which is nonsense. Well, when was this, Lahoub? I am struggling to just remember what that would be. I wonder if it was at Manchester at the time when the IRA were very active and had just done the Warrington bomb. See, every time the IRA triggered a bomb, the world just collapsed. The bottom fell out of the movement and it was just hatred and detestation for the IRA. Why they did that, I'll never quite understand. Very, very poor leadership. You know, and um, and Martin McGuinness should have known better. There we are. But he was very anti. McGuinness was a peacemaker when he, whether he liked it or not. Um, not all the time, Lahu. No, 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 no. McGuinness had his moments, and you know it. There we are. Uh, Avicola, I dearly love and respect the Unimog. Oh, yes. Now, Geodog, Mog rings a bell. The Morris Minor had, I'm sure it had something, was it Unimog stamped on the engine block? Was that, would that have been a Morris Austin set up there? Scotty, I love you, mate. Dinky, do. Thank you so much, J. Ben. You are very, very kind. Very warm welcome to you. Uh, there we are. What is Floatai? Skin Bob. Who is Scotty McClue? He's the first lord of the internet. Hashtag Floatai. All right. Has everybody got on to the um, Scotty McClue YouTube channel? Guys, I don't know why you don't all go on there. The URL staring you in the face beside my bio. It's just below it. Uh, and if only cars cost 15 to 20 pounds these days, Andrew, they were a good runner. The tax was about, I think it was three pounds a quarter and 12 pounds a year. That sort of idea. And in those days, they didn't rip you off for paying something up. You know what I mean? There was the official dumb government was far, far fairer. Government's now just a way to screw the nation. Uh, Dinky do, it's Ryan. Dinky do, Ryan. Retire old man, says Man Riot. Man Riot, A, I'm not old. Why would I retire? I suspect that you are a closet TikToker and that you cannot do what I do. You are intensely jealous of that. So you thought you'd use low level insults. Yeah. What you're doing there is projecting the fact that you want to retire, old man. Okay, so you retire, old man, and get yourself onto TikTok properly and learn how to do it. There we are. That's so mean, says Ryan. Ryan, it's very, very mean, but do not worry. Half-witted idiots like that, I can handle them. Not a problem. Sorry, my phone's bad and weird. Holly, don't you worry about that. We'll get you sorted out big style. Scotty, it's me. I'm the guy whose dad broke my leg with a brick. I've been in isolation for seven days now. Lonely Mac Cheese. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you're okay. And I hope that we can alleviate your discomfort. Put Man Riot doing the Swanee. There we are. No, Andrew, Man Riot has to learn his lesson. Man Riot is just very, very mean. And he thought that I would go, oh, I'm so sorry, Man Riot. I must retire. Yep. Now, I will be retiring within the next 35 years, as it says on the TikTok video. Scroll down and find that, Man Riot. Uh, did you know there are more pandas in Scotland than Labour MPs? Is that really true, Bob's Beard, or is that you just being a very wee naughty anti-Labour person? There we are. It's true. I mean, Labour are wandering in the political wilderness. The Flying Norseman is sending me beautiful red roses. I thank you, Flying Norseman, for my lovely 25 red roses. Man Riot, get out of here. Ah, <laughs> sorry, says Man Riot. So there you are. But Man Riot, you should learn to do a bit of professional streaming, and then you wouldn't be so green with envy. 
I drove a tired old Peugeot that kept on breaking down. Dear dog, the Peugeot's a good car there. Was it the diesel? Was it the two and a half diesel? There we are. Hey, Bo, hiya, Holly. Dinky do, Scotty McClure, how are you this fine evening? Ya boy, Josh, dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. Can you believe we've only got 10 minutes? Who could really blame the IRA? Well, one man riot. You could blame the IRA for their activities. I mean, some of them were just downright inhuman and disgusting. But I can also see that over the years, the British government were out of order with Ireland. You know, Roke Park, the Black and Tans, Winston Churchill, you know, very poor, the plantationists, that sort of idea. So no, I can't blame the IRA for some of their sentiment. But their behavior was absolutely unforgivable. And that movement effectively died the day Louis Mountbatten was murdered. That split that movement right down the middle and undid about 63 years of work. You know, there we are. McGuinness, a peacemaker. Somebody's laughing. Yes, I think so. I, I, I must say... It's not even funny, but I do find that a strange thing to say, that McGuinness was a peacemaker. I mean, latterly it calmed down. Scotty McGuinness was born into a state that didn't want him. He was discriminated against. Yeah, hoop. that's no reason to go murdering people. Lots of us had a difficult childhood. Lots of us were born into setups. People were adopted. People were transported to Australia. People were sent away. Little ones during the war were, uh, you know, evacuated with a label round their necks. That didn't turn them into murderers, you know? Bitter, bitter, bitter people. So, come on. That might explain something, but it will never, ever excuse it. There we are. So there we are. Man Riot, will you stop being so hateful? Is he at it again? We'll send him doing the swanee in a minute. There we are. So I decided to take action. Yeah, but Lahub, that's not taking action. That's just badness. Uh, that's just criminal. Scotty, could you give us your opinion on climate change and think something has to be done? Yes, I mean, I think we should do our best. But there's a big carbon conference coming in Glasgow. And they're talking about zero carbon. Now, there's enough coal, gas, and oil to do us for about a 1,000 years. We need to use that up. You know, so don't go to bananas. And you see, one of the things, if you've got all this renewables, renewables sounds beautiful, lovely, green, and fluffy. But what they've done is absolutely decimated the Scottish landscape by sticking big foreign manufactured windmills up. You know, so, you know, everything's got its price, guys. And that will just send electricity into the earth and probably electrify the crops. I'm driving a real sweetie now, an Audi 500 SE, 20 years service, already in going still. Geodog, tremendous. I'm still driving my, um, my Freelander 1 at 21 years of age. Tremendous stuff. Yes, he was indeed, if you knew your history. So you are. So La, La Hoops telling Kulelo. Kulelo does know his history. No, not yet, not yet, not yet, Andrew Scottish lad. We're leaving, we're leaving him up. Sorry, Andrew, I don't support the Republican movement, but I couldn't blame the IRA. No, one man riot, you could blame the IRA for murdering Lord Mountbatten. That was very, very bad. There we are. McGuinness saved many lives in North of Ireland. Only by negotiation, La Hoop. Yes, not in a militarian style. Hello from Ireland. We'd have a lovely little country if we had a roof on it to keep the rain off. Johnny, you have a lovely little country. And your day came 99 years ago. All is well in Ireland. I can tell you. What's the phone signal right around Scotland? Depends who you're with and what you're doing. I mean, I have friends in the island of Mull. If I want to make a mobile phone call, I stand on a tree trunk. If I move my ear... It goes, beep, just cuts off. So there we are. See you, Jimmy. See you, David Munby. There we are. So man riots laughing. We're going to send you down the Swanee. Doing the Swanee, everybody says. 
I'm so happy this man right. Well, that's me because you've calmed down. Dinky do, what's your pronouns? Hello. You never, ever, ever ask anybody pronouns. It's so divisive. It's so rude. It's an attempt at labeling. And it's very, very bad. It goes against everything we stand for on TikTok with Scotty McClue live. Yep. We are just all inclusive on here. Nobody has to justify themselves. Think you do a LGBT? We're talking about LGBT uh, straight S, add S to it. Yeah, so there were. I think everybody's LGBT nowadays. Scotty, you got such a backlash for asking. Wait a minute. Hold on, guys. Hold on a second. Something jumped up there. Hang on a second. I just missed you all there, guys. Some beautiful stuff. Saying discrimination is not for us to put streets into the LGBTQ. There we are. The past also very good history. Oh, yes. Scotty, what type of books do you like to read? Everything. Anything with print on it. I will devour it. Scotty, where are you from? From Scotland. Never scroll and never troll. Love you, Scotty. Thank you, Cliff Deary. Scotty, the British have also done the fair share of killings in the north of Ireland. Don't forget La Hoop. I would never, ever forget, and I'd be the first to hold my hand up. But, you know, uh, you know, I mean, they were also keeping the peace. Hello, Scotty, how are you? What's your opinion the reintroduction of wolves into Scotland? I love the idea. The last wolf in Scotland was shot um, up in the Highlands in 1909. What about that? Vulpine. Uh, Scotty, uh, oh yes, fair play to Scotty, you didn't block me for having a different point of view. Man right, I've never blocked anyone for having a different point of view. That's the whole thing. I mean, my programs are about your point of view, but if anybody cheeks up personally, block all. You know, that's it, doing the swanny. Have you watched much of the Olympics, Scotty? Not really. Do you know, Chris, to be honest with you, I don't know that these Olympics have fired many people up. And the television reporting is just very mediocre, you know. Scott, I used to listen to your show every night in the 90s when life was a struggle. Flying Norseman, bless you. Life's a struggle for me now, but we get on with it, don't we? I ride a Honda, Cliff Deary. Well, see, when Hondas came in, that was British bikes knocked on the head because they were light and fast and powerful, and even something of 50 or 90 or 125cc could absolutely blow away some of the 250s, you know? Uh, these are also destroying the landscape by putting the houses on there. What's your opinion? Well, Andrew, very good point you have raised. Thoughts on sturgeon? Well, Joseph, see when you say sturgeon, that makes me think you're anti the SNP and anti-independence. Now, I don't mind that at all because I think the nationalists are very, very lacking in their knowledge about the monarchy and how this country actually works or how the four countries work. Edio, thank you. So I will say, do you mean thoughts on Nicola Sturgeon, the first minister? You know, I think she's done an absolutely outstanding job throughout this pandemic. We'll see how she gets on. We're looking for independence, I think. Hey, Scotty, what's happening? I didn't mean the duck comment. No, no, Cliff Deary. La has acknowledged that, as I like, he said the IRA sentiment was fair, just the methods, the methodology, the modus operandi, Kulelio, you're spot on. So there we go. A walk with nature. Anyway, I'm not banging on. What I noticed in your show was people don't like to hear the truth, La Hoop. Everybody on here will hear the truth because I tell it. So that's that. Are you talking the broadcast show? No, they don't like the truth. But nobody likes the truth. It hurts. Uh, we are the people of a kind. Do you know that uh, long before the bloody Sunday inquiry, when I was broadcasting one night, I said, um, you know, about the paras on bloody Sunday, and I got phone calls from the paras that were there. And one of them had had a refreshment. He said, I don't mind. I'll tell you my name. I said, no, no, sir, you are not. You are not coming out on Scotty McClue's show live, right? Going out to about six, seven million people. Oh, so there you go. 
we are all people of a kind. We need to love each other. Life goes so fast. I'm just saying, no, listen, nine Johnny, you're 100% correct. You can just say anything you like. Scotty, it's been a while. Do you remember me? Of course I do, the odd one gamer. Galelo, I get that, but they have their reasons. Unfortunately, in war, innocent people die. But you see, Lahoub, was it a war? Had it been a war, the IRA would have put on uniform and come marching down the street with their faces uncovered. Do you see what I'm saying, Jill? That's the difference. That would have been the war. And then they could have said, there's your soldiers of Ireland. Because you see, it's a different thing. The IRA is a hybrid, strange organization that grew out of the Republican Brotherhood. You know, I mean, the, um, the IRA, there was the official proper Irish army. Am I not correct? There we are. So that's what they needed to do. There you go. Nice to listen to a decent live 12 Jolly Girl. How lovely to have you on, Warlass. Thank you very much for that. That makes a huge difference. That's tremendous. Scotty, thoughts on shortages as a result of Brexit and COVID? I believe it's going to get worse. Well, one man right. What I will say to you is Brexit was the biggest act of self-harm since World War I. And we are 350 billion pounds down the swanee. All right. So the, 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 the present government and uh, the one before, the, the, the Tories, I'm not in any way political, but they really have seriously damaged the economy beyond belief. And um, of the 350 billion, 250 billion is Brexit with absolutely nothing to show for it. Shocking, except that the rich people didn't have to pay their tax. Uh, who are we, Nick? Absolutely. Scotty, have you been to Hyde Park? Many a time. Yes, indeed. And Hyde Park Corner. There we are. Yes, indeed. Do you, st uh, do you still do your live show uh, to this day? No, Andrew. We're not live on the radio at the moment. So I just do a bit of social media and we have some great fun with lovely, lovely people. I have to go. I'm out of time. Take great care of yourselves. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky do to every one of you. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Didn't realize the time there. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zen. Au revoir. And a cheery o. Thank you, the beautiful Maria Knight. For my 10 gorgeous good nights, Maria, you are such an angel. I have to dash, guys. So there we go. Do join us tomorrow. They did have uniforms, Scotty. Come on, you know that. They didn't look faces covered and uh, combat jackets. They have been outnumbered. Scotty, many of your friends have been assaulted because they were straight. Oh, God. Well, an assault's an assault. Doesn't matter what anyone's sexual orientation or proclivities are. I can tell you that. Uh, Dinky-doo, cheerio. Good night. God bless. Good night, everybody. Love you lots. And ta-ra-las.